Flights cancelled, public transport grounded, government offices closed nationwide. This is a show of solidarity by workers in state companies and the public service, answering the rallying call of the labor union. The struggle for economic and social rights continues. The labor union is also defending public and private liberties and the right to strike that the authorities want to confiscate and criminalize to stifle the voice of dissent. We are ready for the next fight if this scenario is really planned by the state. The UGTT has several demands, including the immediate withdrawal of a government circular prohibiting any form of negotiations with the union without prior authorization. We have five demands, the withdrawal of the circular N20, which is blocking negotiations, starting negotiations to raise salaries in the public sector and the civil service, increasing minimum wage, starting negotiations on the reform of public institutions and finally closing the negotiation on the legal status of public institutions and companies. The UGTT says it will not sign any agreement with the government on the economic and social reform program by the International Monetary Fund. The IMF made it clear that it won't provide any loan tranche without a signed agreement between the government and the labor union. Now Tunisia has no alternative but to provide the much needed money as the UGTT opposes any IMF deal. The general strike has a very high economic cost. It also shows a negative image of Tunisia as being unstable politically, economically and socially. The general strike was observed in 159 state institutions. The Tunis Carthage International Airport remained closed. Observers say this social protest has disrupted public transport and paralyzed Tunisia's ailing economy. Analysts believe that the general strike has widened the gap between the government of Najla Boudin and the powerful labor union. Unionists are calling for higher wages for workers, while the authorities describe the strike as politically motivated against the head of state.